in this video I'm going to help you read your schedule so take a look at your schedule so as you can see in this sample schedule this student has way more than six classes listed but we only have six periods in a day also when you look in the period column you can see that it starts with 3b when <laughs> Our first period of the day is first period. So there's a couple of things to understand. So if you see the column, the period column, it's outlined in yellow. So you'll need to look at your schedule and they may be out of order, but that's just because that's how they print in power schools. So you can see this student has 3B, 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 and then 1G. Well, in actuality, they would go to their 1G class first. The letter B behind the number in the period corresponds to the blue or gold schedule. Some of our electives, they're listed as B's, as in like being on a blue schedule, but that's just because that's the schedule that they're on. So you should look at your core classes and see if there's a B or G beside one of your core teachers names and that'll let you know if you're on a blue or a gold schedule. So once again, these may be out of order, but you're looking for the numbers that the number order is the order in which you will go in. Now let's look in the term column. This is the one that's outlined in red. So you can see that this student has Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. That's Q stands for quarters. It's kind of like nine weeks. So it's like first nine weeks, second nine weeks, third nine weeks, and fourth nine weeks. So this student has their elective classes listed first, and they're on the wheel. So that means that every nine weeks, they'll get a new elective teacher. So the 3B, 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 3B that's listed in the yellow column, that means third period is going to change for them each nine weeks. Also, after the Q's, you'll see S1 and S2. The S stands for semester. So that's semester one and semester two. This is a sample seventh grade schedule. So sixth graders and, and eighth graders, they won't have semester classes for their history. But this seventh grade student, they, do, they will. So the first semester, they'll be taking geography. And the second semester, they'll be taking civics. Same teacher, same period, just a different course. And this will be for every seventh grade student. As you get to the bottom of the term column, you'll see 21-22. So this student, you'll see for 21-22, then they have grade seven accelerated mathematics. The 21-22 just means this is a full year course and they're gonna have this same course for the entire school year. So an eighth grade schedule, if they have the same elective for the whole year and then they have all the rest of their classes, they may only have six classes. Same thing for sixth grade. But what's the reason why a class is gonna show up four times and have the Q in front of it is because you're gonna change courses every nine weeks. So just to wrap up, in the period column, that's the one, that's outlined in yellow, you're gonna go by the number order. If something's listed or a number's listed more than once, then that means that you may have a different course every nine weeks. And you can find that out by looking in the term column. That's the one that's outlined in red. If it has a Q in front of it, that means quarter, meaning you'll change courses every nine weeks. If it has an S in front of it, that's a semester, so that means that you're gonna change classes every semester. The 21-22 means that it's a full year course. Hope this helps.